Hello, this is Tommy from Home Office and you're watching Heavy Metal DK. Well, of course, it feels great, and there's a, a lot of like uh, that kind of reviews since we released this album, and uh, it's not like something that we are expecting because this is like our 13th uh, album, and we've been together 28 years, so never know what, what to expect. But of course, it feels like great because uh, every time we are going to studio, we are going to trying to make our best album so far so I don't know if this is it but uh, it, it's anyway got some great response well uh, the lyricist is Pekka Kainulainen so he's it's his uh, stories and uh, he's writing a little bit similar way than uh, like uh, Kalevala the stories we used to used to sing so uh, I don't know anything else anything better than anyone who's reading the lyrics but uh, because it's his his stories and we are just making the music uh, when he started like was it five albums ago? We just gave him some like uh, directions uh, because we knew that, that uh, he's very into this like old poem, poetry, and stuff like that. So he knew what we are looking for, and uh, we were just discussing about like uh, that uh, it should be like timeless stories, not like fast cars or something like that, but uh, like very timeless and like like yeah. Uh, he knew right, right away what we were, were looking for, so he's got quite uh, free hands to do what he wants. So. The night thickened yeah, and then we translated to English, and so it's quite a process as well. And in the studio, of course, they have to arrange the lyrics to the music, and so it's a uh, few steps before it's in a album. I didn't know the stars down. Uh, well, of, of course, it's uh, there have to be some story, and uh, I think we have been lucky because the uh, st lyrics are written in different time than uh, songs itself, and uh, uh, and usually it seems to match like very well. That it uh, doesn't sound that they are like separate things. So that's what we are looking for as well. So. I should have seen it coming. The signs on the road. Well, when we started, I think we were on a ferry on the way from Sweden when we uh, were recording the first album. And uh, we just started to listen very much like kind of like a different countries, folk music and uh, oriental music. and and also some bands who are like uh, getting inspiration from like 70s like uh, folkish progressive rock or something like that and so somebody just had had this idea because if we have like musical influences very much like uh, folky things so why don't you use that Kalevala thing so because nobody did that before and it felt like own thing instead of uh, trying to find some uh, inspiration from different books or whatever. And we were like 17 that time, so it was easy as well to take the lyrics straight from the, some, something which is like already there. So uh, yeah, that was the, it felt like unique thing. Uh, well, it's the music we are listening. We are listening very much like different kind, of, like uh, from Indian music, or we used to at least like uh, 
very much different countries folk music and also like bands like Kings of War that was quite a in, big inspiration to us. It was uh, in the 90s, like Finnish band only released three records and they had a lot of these uh, influences from uh, from trans music and uh, like uh, oriental stuff. So that was what we were like, uh, we were looking up to, so. I felt ascending, but I really sunk. Everything had turned upside. Well, normally it's just that we feel like that uh, this song could uh, there could, could be rooms to some like saxophone or something, or and sometimes we just want to some guy to play to some song and just invite him to studio. Like Sakari Kukku, who, who plays uh, saxophone in our like some of former albums, he used to be in a band like in the 70s, like Peter Pauke, which was like making making these like folk songs like to uh, progressive rock style, and he was traveling all over the world like Africa and whatever and invited different musicians and uh, we wanted that guy to play in our album that was just like the idea and uh, but this time Jens it was Jens's idea the producer uh, who's like uh, who booked the orchestral things to this new album and so uh, we didn't have too much to say Uh, we only have been talking that we should should have some plan for that, but uh, not yet. But probably we're gonna make some some kind of special tour, maybe with guests or whatever. But uh, when we had a 20 anniversary year, we had like all our past members with us, and we did the Finnish tour, and uh, that was quite fun. But I don't think that's gonna happen. Again, so we will figure something out. I should have seen it coming. The signs on the road had changed. The fires on the mountain. Oh, not yet. This is like uh, we did the summer festivals and then a US tour and quite big tour in Finland and now this European tour. And uh, after this, we are going to. Russia and then uh, South America and then it's summer again and festivals and then we're going to US tour again. So uh, we haven't even talked about that <laughs> yet. But And let's see how this affects this 30 years anniversary if we are concentrating that or making new album. But there will be, that's for sure, but I don't know when. Hopefully soon. <laughs> I think we have uh, told our agency like years that it would be great to play there. But so far we played only, well, Roskilde in 97 or something. That was great because I used to go there like, when I was a teenager, like five years. And then we got to play there. It was like one dream come true. But, but I don't know, hopefully, hopefully next year. <laughs> 